1959, Britain got struck with a fuel shortage because of a Suez crisis, which started on the 29th of October in 1956 and ended on the 7th of November that same year. This meant that petrol was once again rationed in the United Kingdom and bigger cars were becoming more and more expensive. Therefore, the locals needed a solution to get from point A to point B and imported cars were not very common. So the locals needed a solution to get from point A to point B. And that's where Alex Etagonas came in and designed the Morris Minor. There were two versions of the Mini. There was the Orsa 7 and the Morris Mini Minor, which both released in that same year in 1959. Fast forward to 1961, uh, John Cooper saw potential in the Mini. John Cooper, for those that don't know, designed the Formula, some of the Formula 1 cars. And he saw potential in the Mini Cooper and its sportiness. So he made a sporting version of it and called it a Mini Cooper. What's going on guys? And welcome back to my channel. You are watching Chasing Cars in SA. I'm your host Peter and today we are joining you with Rory. And we will be featuring his 1978 Bruno's Mini Deluxe. So Rory, tell us a little bit about your car. Okay Peter, yeah. Uh... I've always had a passion for, for cars in general, mainly Fords though, and uh, you know, I then in 2017 I decided I wanted to go racing, and so I bought, um, for me there were just too many Fords racing in the historic series, so I decided I wanted to do something different, and if it was going to be different, it was going to be a mini. Um, I grew up around minis, my dad had four of them, always modified um, different versions, and so so I uh, started building the, the race car um, and then uh, within a few months I decided that no, I want a road car, this race car is going to take a while to build um, mm. and so I started looking for a road car. I uh, found one from a, someone who's become a good friend, Sean Brennan, who was sadly emigrating to, to New Zealand and Sean had a very nice little mini that I uh, took a drive to Joburg and had a look at and it came back that same day on the trailer, a couple of mates of mine, uh, Richard, Andrew and John were with me and we had a good uh, shopping weekend and we came back with uh, a whole lot of race car parts from ATS as well as then the Mini on the back of the trailer. Um, I then, yeah, I started, uh, the car was, was for me very nice, it was a great base to work from. Um, I, well, Sean was the second owner and I therefore became the third owner of the car. And I started doing a bit of a, what I call a clean up on the car, just tidying it up. Um, it had some really nice mechanical bits and performance bits, but for me it needed to just sort of be tidied up a little bit. And so I started doing, doing a tidy up on the car and four and a half years later, it is what you see here today um, in the photographs and in the videos that, you're, that you've been taking and that you will be continuing to take. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's the nicest mini looking mini I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no. I've only seen two mini Coopers in my lifetime. Actual mini Coopers, not Bruno's. Yeah. Ones. Sorry, yours is in, in the mini Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Most of the people think, think it's, it's a mini yeah. Cooper. Yeah, I'll maybe say that, yeah. Yeah. So okay. up. And then I saw two um, station wagons. One is the wooden one. Yeah. You know that one. Yeah. Very rare. Yeah. And the normal one. So, how did you, where did you buy the car? Yeah, so the car is, it came from Jovi, although well, Sean is an ex-Durban guy. Um, and it's, yeah, so obviously now resident uh, back in Durban again. Um, and it turns out, just an interesting story is that the car, when I look at the, and I've got the original owner's book um, for the car, uh, service book, um, and it turns out the car was owned by a lady who stays just around, who stayed just around the corner from me. So she was the first owner, I stay in Westville, and she stayed literally as the crow flies, probably half a kilometer from me. <laughs> and yeah, in here is the first service um, invoice, obviously all handwritten. And she gave days. that to you? Uh, Sean gave this to me, yeah, oh. the car. And the first invoice, uh, service invoice in 1978 was 7 Rand 44 cents. So yes. yeah, including GST. That's um, so that's just some interesting information regarding the car. So have you done any restoration to the car? 
Sean, when he had the car, he did a full strip down and, and rebuild, and that was uh, uh, many years ago. He then proceeded to use the car as his daily. So this isn't my daily, it's my weekend car, my fun car. But Sean used that car daily, and interesting to, interestingly, to travel from Pine Town to, or from North Dean to Maritzburg, where he worked every cool. single day uh, for a number of years. Um, nice. So yeah, the car took a, yeah, obviously there was wear and tear on the car. When I got the car, I've done a, what we refer to as a blowover on the car. So it wasn't a stripped down and rebuild. The car was quite frankly too nice to, to have that done to it. Yeah. Didn't need it. So we did a blowover on the car, which means I removed all the stickers and the decals, which, which Sean loved and I, I didn't <laughs> like so much. I think it had too many. Um, so we removed all of those, and in removing some of those, I started to pull the, the clear coats on the paint off. So good friends of mine at Ultra Panel Beaters, they did a, they did a blow over on the car. Um, so as I say, not a complete strip down, but lights were removed, grills were removed, fittings, door handles, that type of thing were removed, but the glass was left in place, the motor was left in place, and the car was generally just tidied up. They did a they did a blow over on the car. Um, so as I say, not a complete strip down, but lights were removed, grills were removed, fittings, door handles, that type of thing were removed. But the glass was left in place, the motor was left in place, and the car was generally just tidied up. Um, so I was planning on doing a, a full restoration, but I've just got too many projects on the go at the moment. And, and as I say, the car yeah. is, presents, as you see it now, it's still very presentable, looks very nice, interior, exterior, engine bay, and the whole lot. So. Yeah, it's probably not, it's not in need of a restoration at this point, yeah. Mm. So, what modifications have you done to the car? So, the car is, 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 is extensively modified, um, and again, I just want to give a lot of that, uh, most of the credit to Sean, because um, that's how the car came. If we look at the, if I look at the underpinnings of the car, it's got, what my race car has got, that road car has got. So, it's got fully adjustable front suspension, it's adjustable for, it's got the adjustable mini spares, um, lower control arms, um, it's got the adjustable tie bars, it's got high-low suspension, front and rear, it's got a set of gas shocks on it, it's, it's got a set of, uh, on the front, uh, mini spares, four-pot aluminium calipers with discs, obviously under the 10-inch wheels. On the rear, it's got an anti-roll bar, which I fitted a best tune product from Sean uh, Best Day in Cape Town, it's a number of his other products on the car as well. It's got high suspension on the rear as well, which is adjustable for ride height. It's got the um, tow and uh, caster, camber and uh, caster adjustment uh, on the camber and tow adjustment on the rear as well. It's got the mini fin drum brakes on the rear. And then it runs on a set of six and a half inch Chromadora wheels. Um, they don't come in six and a half inch, they come in five inch, um, but nothing is left unmodified. So I had, um, <laughs> I had those rims. Um, widened, um, the alloys, but I had them widened to six and a half inch and refurbished and it runs on a set of period Dunlop R7 semi slicks, which ATS import for the mini guys. So that's on the suspension side of it. Um, there's probably one or two things that I forgot in there, but that's on the suspension side of it. Um, on the motor, it's a, it's a 1380cc, which is the biggest you can go on a mini motor. So it's almost a 1400, um, which in that light little body tells you that it's going to go nice. Yeah. Um, it's the, so it's the biggest bore you can go without stroking the motor. It runs a standard crank. It's got a centralized oil pickup so that you don't have oil surge problems um, on, uh, on, on the corners mainly on right hand bends based on where the pickup is on the standard menu. Yeah. It runs the GTS gearbox. It's got a 3-1 diff, which is the longest diff that you get for a mini, which makes it a nice cruiser so it doesn't over rev, bearing in mind they've got four speed gearboxes. It's got a set of GTS rods on it, hip uh, pistons, the drill pistons. It's got a very nice mini spares um, uh, from the UK head on it, so that head wasn't ported locally. It was it's a Keith Carver head, who's a mini guru, um, worked for Leyland ST or uh, you know, Leyland Special Tuning. Um, so it's got the rights, you know, the ports are all correct. Um, it's got a nice Evo One cam shaft in it. It's got rotor. It's got the roller rockers, aluminium roller rockers. Um, it's got the 998 lighter flywheel on it, and a duplex timing gear setup with the offset dials to get the timing um, correct on the car. And all of that, uh, yeah, sorry, with a, an HIA 44 car, which is the biggest car, single car that you'll get for the Mini before you go to the, to the Weavers, which we run on the race car. 
Um, and then it's got a Maniflow exhaust manifold as well. So some really extensive mods to the to the engine as well. And then on the on the interior, it's got a set of period correct um, buckets, um, which were really um, one of the aftermarket seats which we had uh, removed the upholstery, had them cut down, and had them reupholstered to look like a, as I say a period correct bucket seat. It's got a the steering lowering bracket, which was an, an, another period uh, mod, which was done at, in the time. Um, anybody who owned minis back in the 60s, 70s, um, that's on. It's got a nice steering on it. It's got the best tune uh, footrest on it. And what else? Um, it's got a rev counter, which no, none of the minis came with standard, other than the GTS. I think I saw the boost gauge as well. No, that's the that's the that's rev counter. Oh, okay. boost gauge there, yeah. Um, and then, again, and then just moving to the outside, it's got a, it's got group two wide arches to cover those, those sort of uh, six and a half inch uh, wide uh, uh, rims. It's got a bib uh, spoiler um, on the front, and for the rest of the exterior, the exterior is pretty much standard. It's got a set of also um, uh, the nice uh, chrome mirrors. It's not the the bullet mirror, but um, a really nice set of mirrors, which again were the for me the period correct mirror. For the car at the time, and then it's got the, the standard in inverted commas. Um, you know, it's the, the nice green um, with the yeah. white roof, which just sets it apart nicely with the, the, the stripes on the bonnet. And, and that's why a lot of people call it a Cooper, refer to it as a Cooper. <laughs> it's not a Cooper S, I wish it was, but it's certainly from an exterior point of view um, very close to it, and from a performance point of view, probably better than a, a standard Cooper S. Yes, um, a nice little all round package is what we have there. So I can't wait to get to go for a drive in this thing. Yeah, uh, well, I look forward to it as well. Yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah. find some, some twisty roads around Fountain Westville and uh, we'll go for a drive. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Good. Okay. If you guys would like to see us feature Rory's 1978 mini race car, make sure to like this video. Let's get as many likes as possible on this video. And let us know down in the comment section down below that you would like to see Rory's 1978 mini race car on the channel. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.